Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's finally time for another chase update. Um, and you might be wondering, why is he holding a hammer? Uh, and the reason for that is, um, I, it was my birthday a couple of days ago, and yes, it got me a really sweet gift. Um, I have some new Cavalettis, and we need to go bash the poles into the side pieces. So we're gonna be doing that first. I'm gonna be setting up a whole gymnastic exercise, and then I'm gonna be letting you guys know how Chase has been going with his jumping, with his new jumping career. Um, some changes that are coming up for him uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, and some exciting uh, things in between as well. So let's go down to so, the arena. Distances was kind of a, a big thing for Chase. So we thought, well, yes, I had the great idea of buying me these uh, Cavalettis. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. And it, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is pop the pole into this and then you can choose to wait. Well, you say it's simple, but the poles are too thick. Yeah, they so said that was normal. Hence, rubber hammer. But can you grab that side? I want to just show them what we can do with these. Uh, this is not sponsored. Yes, it paid. Um, but look, so we can choose to have, this is the highest setting that you can have the Cavaletti for. Or, oh, sorry. And that's why it needs to be tied up. Uh, yeah, we straight. haven't screwed it. That's why it's still rolling. Or we can have the Cavaletti lower, or we can have it fully flat uh, on the ground as well. And the great uh, thing about this system is that you can stack them. So. We can pop another Cavaletti on top. Uh, we'll demonstrate to, it for to, you guys. Okay, wait, th these are all gonna fall, so. Oh, <laughs> I don't like loud noises. But then we can make oh. a bit of a bigger jump, even just using these. So that gives me a lot more flexibility with what kind of courses I can build. So but I won't go too high with these because if you no. jump, then the whole thing. Well, this is already quite high for me, I think. Oh yeah, you know. I mean, for a lot of people, it's not, but for me it is. Um, but okay, we're gonna set up the other ones and then I think we're just gonna do like a bouncing in and out exercise and we're gonna start with the poles just like this and then we're gonna twist them as we go and build them up a little bit. And I think this would be a great exercise just for him to get like some, well, for him and me, to get some better striding ideas um, and also just to get those muscles working in a little bit of a different way. So we need to see how we're gonna hit them in because- look. Yeah, so this is gonna be the first struggle of the day. Wait, this one is not fully in yet. So. Yeah, but I, I think then we need to... Okay, wait, let me... If you bring it to this side, I'm, I'll try and hammer it. I think we maybe need the stairs. And then we can do it like this and we hit it from the top. I can't reach that on the stairs. No? No, it's huge. I'll hold it straight. Is it going? I can't tell. Yes. Right. Wait, let me check that they're on the boat side. Can you imagine if I had it? <laughs> oh yeah, I could actually. Okay. Oh, actually. Hold it, yes sir! Oh, I just checked if it worked. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hoppa. I think it's going. And then, come on, sir. And I, if any of you find yourself in this situation, I have a really big doubt that is, use a rubber one, yeah? Otherwise you're gonna be ruining everything oh. Oh. Oh, it's on me. do you want to try hammering it yourself why would i want that okay that's I can. true oh. <laughs> shit come up ow uh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me do it. Not on I me. want that horse! <laughs> yeah. oh. Stupid! I, I want the horse! horse. <laughs> um we have six of them. Wait, is there another six? Um and I think we're gonna set them up kind of on the center line. We're gonna go for uh, three meters in between, so we can just jump from one to the other, like without a stride in between. Um, and then we'll be able to tackle this from all sides. And we're gonna start low, like uh, this pole here, just flat on the ground. And, and then we're gonna build them up. Out if it's the right distance. Yeah, we need to see how it goes first, so it's easier to go from the ground. But I'll bring them. I think we go kind of center. Yeah, whatever you want. What do you think? What do you like? Okay, then let's go. They're not too bad. Like they're not too heavy, actually. Wait. This blue one is very heavy. Oh, okay, I'll take the yellow. <laughs> this is gonna be the exercise we start on. I think it'll get his mind thinking of picking up his legs and everything. Sure. Which is hardly, which is very much needed. 
All right. Okay, I'm going to tack him up, but I'll meet you back in here. Okay, perfect. I'll be quick. Yes. Okay, Chase is here. You guys can see he looks like the mammoth from Ice Age. I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's exactly the kind of coat we're dealing with. So I'm half thinking of clipping him, but I've actually never clipped him in my whole life. So um, in Australia, he was under light, so they never grow a winter coat. Um, but here, there's a winter coat. So that's something I'm considering. But as I do with every other ride, I log into my Equilab app. Um, and this is able to uh, help me track my progress with my horse. It's gonna know exactly where I've traveled in the arena, how many times I went into walk, trot, canter, how many times I went to the left, how many times I went to the right. And it's just helped me kind of assist them in getting back into the work. It's also helped me, especially with exercises like this, uh, to be able to uh, really stay up to date in how long I'm training them for. Because sometimes you get so stuck, at least I do, I get so stuck into like, okay, I wanna get it right. But then you do it for too long. So this has been a great app. So I'm just gonna start go and it'll know that I'm starting my ride um, and then we'll be able to kind of look back on the data later on so we'll see how I fare on today's ride. Gymnastic exercises today. Take care of your dad please. A woolly guy. All right let's go. We've got um, the exercise laid out but because Chase hasn't um, done it before I think we're going to move three off to the side and start with three rather than six just on the ground uh, but I'm going to warm him up. Uh, today he feels quite good. He feels actually quite supple. He was we were filming some stuff with him for Horsewell TV because um, We thought we'd use him for like a trailer loading video uh, Just because he hasn't been in a trailer for a while. And we we're like, okay, maybe he's the one that Makes it the most difficult because all the other horses are really easy And well, he gave us quite the job. He was rearing. He was pulling back. He was doing everything So that video is gonna be coming out soon, too um, But yeah, so he's been doing a few different things between the filming and uh, yes, I also rode him for um, a video and he just rode him with the bitless bridle and he did a really good job because that was a couple of days ago but he feels really soft now um, he did have a little bit of a break because we had like a month and a half here of just pure rain like it was just raining all the time um, and so I was like you know what it's awful for you and for me so uh, but now he's doing pretty good and the feet <coughs> are looking much better um, we always knew that was gonna take some time but they look good I think uh, they're definitely on the right path. They're not there yet. I think you guys know with feet it always takes a while. But okay, enough blabbing. Let's do a little bit of uh, trotting. Yes, we uh, want some action. Yeah, we all want some action. So let's do a bit of trot, a bit of canter, warm him up, warm him up, and then we can uh, go from there. Welcome to today's video. Yes, around the poles. Okay, we're all okay, warmed up. Okay, don't step over me. Thank you very much. <laughs> we're all warmed up. I didn't want to show you guys too much of the warm up because it's kind of like. It looks pretty good, looks the same, and you guys are going to see him in action anyway. I want to get to the fun part. But yeah, so you're going to guide us through. What are we doing then? Well, thank God Kim is also here yeah. to uh, give some tips. But we put took a few out so we can first start with the ones instead of having them all. I think it's also so if something is not really fitting, then it's not everything yet. Yeah. So why don't you just come from the sea straight over them in a normal, simple trot? In a trot. I think so to warm up, no? Yeah. Yeah, what I do agree. you want? Yeah, can I also come from A? Because then I can go from this side. Only one order, he already doesn't listen. Rising very strangely, but... Hey! Oh, first damage is done. <laughs> hey, the last one was nice. This is going to be our mission to teach Chase to see distances a little bit better for himself. Oh, his ears. Oh my god, he's getting excited already. <laughs> hey! So we put them all in again. Yeah, that was going good enough that so we can yeah. go on to fun the next. Because we're about to do the can thing, so we just do the trot not too long. I mean, yeah. for the video. And he's done enough poles, like he kind of knows what poles are. It's just more now about doing the, the exercise. Okay, I'll try so this So much fun, you now. can do so many different things. Okay. Oh my god, speeding up already. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> Just a happy, happy, happy horse. <laughs> yeah. So easy. He's oh, really oh. getting excited. Okay, that was okay. There was a little bit of pushing, but this is something we wanted to focus on more in the canter. So, and he does have a bit of energy today. Um, so we're gonna try it in canter. And I'm just, am I just hopping in and out then? Is that how it works? Like there's no striding in between, right? Well, if you have it right, then you should kind of just go like the top, top, top. Okay, because you just looked at me with like, with nothing in your soul. Oh, and no, I'm just you thinking, have to help me here. Yeah, I was just thinking if you're going to start in canter. Um, yes, so you just start in canter. 
I'll come in the center. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, the last. <laughs> he did the last bit, that was very good. Okay, the beginning it was like, what the hell's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's good that he needs to wait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Oh, oh. No, he's this is better. trying now to. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Perfect. Yeah. Better. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's okay. That's better. Easy. Easy. Now it's a bit wide. <laughs> Why? This is so difficult. And then he can figure it out. He can figure it out. Yes. It's not something high, so that helps. The good. Easy. <laughs> yeah, really okay. good. He's definitely learning from that after the first point. He's like, oh wait. Yeah, there was like a little knock there. That way he didn't really pick his feet up, but I think he figured out pretty quick. Um, I gotta lift him. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. I feel like it's getting better and it's helping. And I think it's just a matter of Chase learning to pick his feet up because he's not the most careful horse. But we will try and help him with that. Okay, this is a nice rhythm and we just have to keep it. Let me look. And just look at the last pole. You see it. Easy, Chase. Yeah, and now go with it. Yay! That's it. Yo! <laughs> Good boy. Okay, that was the boy. Should we try with all of them up? See how it goes? Because I think it's going good enough now and he's respecting it enough that he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I have to lift my legs. <laughs> and he's just figuring it out because it is a lot of pulls all of a sudden. Yeah. And when you're excited, like I am also very like... And like, this is not his thing, so he is Do you want one a bit lower or all the same? I think all the same. Let's see how that goes. Of course, in the Netherlands, it wouldn't be a Dutch day without some random rain just sprinkled there in the middle. So I think this will be our last set. And this is nothing. If you guys saw what it was like two months ago, oh my God. It was like torrential rain, five degrees and hail every day. Every single day, everything was flooded. Okay. Okay. And I've kept most of the work on the uh, right lead because I feel like that's the stronger side and the left just feels still a little bit weak. So I think I need to practice the left side more with everything down. Yes, but the last one was really good and you just focus on the last pull and you just sit and there we go. That's really good. Fingers crossed. Easy. Easy. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. Looking at my jump. Inside leg. Sitting back. Get a good rhythm. Oh, yes. Easy, easy, yes. easy, easy, easy. Yeah. You! Oh, really good. good. Boy. He really? That was so cute. Yoo -hoo -hoo. Happy boy! <laughs> it was really cute because I saw him with his ears like this, really looking at the jumps. Uh, yeah, Not I only looking with the ears, but the ears were forward and he <laughs> looks at his eyes, of course. He drifted all the way to the left and I was Aww. like, we're going to jump out. We're just going to jump to the outside of it. Good boy. Oh my God. Good boy. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely... I think we're going to cut the video here because it's meant to get worse. We saw on the app. Nice. Um, so I'm going to catch up with you guys inside so we can go over also what we kind of see on the app of how Chase was. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys shortly out of the rain. <laughs> Okay, so what have we learned from that ride? Uh, we've learned that my horse Chase is not the quickest on his feet, which we always knew he's a big horse. Um, he's not a really like a show jumping type. He's heavy, he's uh, goofy, he's slow, but that's why it's all the more fun and challenging to try and see if uh, this path is something we can pursue. I know in the last video, um, I wanted to be really honest and raw and just share that um, I don't really know where I'm at and I don't know what I'm doing. And so in the meantime, between the last video and now, I have found someone who can uh, coach me. So that's gonna be really exciting. And that's something that I'm gonna be going into. It's actually a property just down the road for me. They have, we just did actually a video with them for Horseball TV and that's how I made the connection to them and said, hey, I'm actually looking for someone and somebody there was uh, very nice to, to reach out. Um, 
So I'm going to be starting uh, regular lessons soon. I was just waiting because uh, we had Christmas and then there was like that awful patch of weather and now I'm like, okay, clear path ahead. Now we can actually commit and do it properly. Because I'm like, I'm either all in or like I wait because I can't do like half, half stuff. Um, but okay, so I'm on my Equilab app. I just wanted to go through the ride with you guys because I thought it'd be really interesting for you to actually see what I get to look back on and what kind of information I get from the app. So I rode for about 35 minutes, which is kind of all I wanted to do because he had already been worked the day before. Um, and I did um, a lot of walk because of the filming that is always like that. So we had 90 minutes of walk, two minutes of trot and six minutes of canter. Um, now this is obviously, I mean, I know this information is not really my usual training because I can compare it to other trainings I've done in the past. But what I like is if you go on the map and I'm going to see if I can not show my address of where I live. Um, but if you go on the map, you can see exactly like where I was trotting, where I was walking, where I was cantering. And you can see that's going right through the middle of the arena. So I always find that super interesting. This is always something that surprised me and I don't know how the app actually knows but it shows you how many times I went to the left and how many times I went to the right. Um, so I can tell there that I did most of it on the right and that's because um, because we were going straight away a little bit high I wanted to do it on his uh, stronger side but I'll be practicing more on the left when I'm obviously not filming and when I'm alone. I did want to also mention that there is uh, two premium features that I also really like uh, and the calendar is one of them so logging everything on the calendar like what I just mentioned and being able to uh, then go back and relook. That's I think that's one of the best things about this app and it's definitely worth investing into. Um, and then the second premium feature I love is the trends and that's more to do with um, the app kind of overviewing your training and picking out specific things and showing and highlighting that to you. So for instance, if you're um, consistently working your horse uh, at a certain time or if there's inconsistency or if you're always going to the left, things like that, these are things that the app will be able to pick up on and after a, a few rides it'll be able to give you that input back without you having to actually look and compare so that kind of solves that also in between moment all you have to do is log it and it'll kind of show you what trends are happening within your exercising and training i think that's all we have update wise um i'm hoping to be getting some lessons i hope maybe next week um so i'm gonna try and kind of film the process and see i always like to do one lesson with someone new without cameras or anything because it's really about like seeing if we vibe right and if we get along and it, if it all works but if i do find success in it i'm gonna vlog the second lesson and um kind of see how that goes i'm gonna be really interested to hear what someone has to say can you imagine if they're like you're beyond help uh no nobody's beyond help um but yeah i hope you all love the video i'm sorry it was so overdue uh and i'm hoping the next one will roll out pretty quick uh but thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye